Y'all may be seated, please. We come here this afternoon to unite these two people in the holy state of matrimony, which is a celebration of love for today's marriage. I only say I love you today and tomorrow and the next day and always. And promising always, you'll each take the time to learn above all good and all bad, to love in stormy weather and good. We change because these promises and say you shape yourselves according to them because you live in their midst and you live different because of them. Because you know you are loved, and you stop finding your fears because each of you have been chosen. And today you can rise upon your insecurities for marriage is a bond that sets us free. For today your souls are protected and your hearts have come home. And that's the reason we are here this evening to celebrate two people whose hearts have come home. Who brings this woman into this marriage? I do. You want to give her a kiss, Dad? Left hand. I want you to place. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is my left hand. I know. <laughs> Sir, I want you to place your daughter's hand into his left hand. Okay. You may sit, Dad. Thank you. You want to stand together next to each other? Facing each other? Yeah, or next to each other. Whatever easier for y'all. Okay. okay. For today, marriage brings two people together, not only in their past, but the presence of their past. For today, your choices have been made, and your lessons have shaped and reshaped the chambers of your heart. Therefore, never doubt the reverence of your past. For everything up this time is not wasted or lost. Everything up to this moment has value. For today, you take that and you bring it forth and you love each other. For the love that you have for each other will extend upon the earth, the wind, and the flame. For as much meaningfulness that we come here today and set the foundation of your future with your family and friends and your love of the essence that surrounds you. Today, remember to do the simple things in life. You make this love, ever, love everlasting and you communicate with each other. You focus on your goals and you plan to do the things that are important to you. For today, this love has been nurtured out in every aspect of your dream. For the simple ceremony is just the beginning of your realization and hopes today. Be thankful for one another, for love is a great compliment and a great gift that I paid to you. For today, as you come here in oneness with each other, you stand here in the promise of love, respect, and honor. For today, there's no more ties more tender, there's be no vows more sacred than ones you'll assume today. There are verbal representation of much deeper commitment, and they followed by love, loyalty, and devotion. Josh, you have chosen Alyssa to be your wedded wife, to live together in this holy state of matrimony. You promise to love her, honor her, and cherish her from this day forward. If say so, that I will. I will. <laughs> Alyssa, you stand here in front of Josh, accepting him as your beloved husband, to live together in this holy state of matrimony. <laughs> <laughs> you promise to honor him, love him, and cherish him from this day forward. If so, say that I will. I will. Can I have the rings, please? Yes. Here. I, that's mine. This is Hers? her pieces. Okay. She gets both of them, yes. right? How neat. Okay. <laughs> you want to take those mm -hmm. and place them on her left hand? Put them in the right order. There you yeah. go. Oh, they need to lock. Okay. Put them on her left finger. And look at your wife to be, please. Repeat after me. Alyssa. Alicia. 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 Alicia with love. With love. With love. I take you. With, I take you. To be my beloved wife. To take to be my beloved wife. My most dearest friend. My most dearest friend. My most treasured companion. Most treasured companion. To love you. To love you. 
to hold you, to hold you. And, to honor you. and to honor you, to console and protect, to console and, protect. and to mirror your highest values. And to what? And to, to mirror, mirror your, highest values. your highest, values. highest values. I'm sorry. Okay. To be patient and kind. To be patient and kind. To live with you. To live with you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And to give you thanks always. <laughs> to give you thanks always. This I promise. This I promise. And I from my it. heart and my soul. From my heart and my soul. For all the days of my life. For the rest of my life. I gave you this ring. I gave you this, I gave ring, you this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. You put his ring on. And look at him, please. And I'm going to say, no, hold hands. Okay. You're not done yet. And you're going to say the same thing, okay? okay. Josh. Josh. With love. With love. I take you. I take you. To be my beloved husband. To be my beloved husband. My most dearest friend. My most dearest friend. And my most treasured companion. My most treasured companion. To love you. To love you. To hold you. To hold you. And to honor you. To honor you. To console and protect. To console and protect. And to mirror your highest values. And to mirror your highest values. To be patient and kind. To be patient and kind. To live with you. To live with you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And to give you thanks always. To give you thanks always. This I promise. This I promise. From my heart and my soul. From my heart and my soul. For all the days of my life. For all the days of my life. I give you this ring. I gave you this ring. As a sign of my love. For a sign of my love. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's come back. We're going to do our lock, key lock, okay? Okay. You guys can stand in front. Be on that side. Watch your dress. For today, no, no, we're not doing that yet. Hang on. Don't rush. Okay. Today, as a request of my bride and groom, they're doing a locked key ceremony, which is significant in symbolization that's going to bring them together in oneness to extend the love that they have for each other to make their love stronger make their love deeper commitment and to build a stronger foundation and to put their lives together as one. May I have um, your mom, what's your name? Judy. Judy, can Hello. you come up please? Is my son walking right up? Yes, Cohen. Cohen. Cohen, go with her. Cohen, there you go. And she'll place the lock on the... Take a lock and you're going to place it on the tree where you want her to put it. On that side. You want to take the key? Did you lock it? Mm -hmm. Okay. For today, you're standing here as a witness for these two people. You just put your lock on the tree, which is to give them strength, and you're locking your love into theirs. So today starts a whole new beginning and a whole new journey. Now I ask that you put your key in the water and throw it in the water. Throw it in there. For now, that lock can never be unlocked from this day forward. You may sit. Take your grandma down. Put her down. Yeah. Good job, son. You want to come and join us, please? Kevin and huh? Kevin and Debbie. Kevin and Debbie, I ask you to take a lock, please. And they're going to put it on the left side, correct? Mm -hmm. Only one. <laughs> Do it together and lock it. Turn it. For today, as you stand here with this couple, you will be joined with them because you just locked your lock of love for them in full support of them, to stand with them through good times and bad, to build them up when they need it, and just to be there for their support because that lock now 
can never be unlocked because what you're going to do is throw that key in the water. Do a good, there you go. Okay, thank you guys, you may be seated. I ask that you guys take your lock. Lock it together, please. There you go. Stand side by side. For now, you set the third lock into motion. The lock is going to bring you together as husband and wife from this day forward. For today, once the key is thrown into the water, this marriage shall never end. You're securing it with your love and your respect and your hope and you have it on your family tree. How important is that? What a blessing that is, that you get to do that with your parents. For without them, I always take the time to thank them. For out their love and understanding, we wouldn't be here. And today, they join you on this new journey and on this new trip. You may throw it in the water. Do it, girl. Okay, come on. Stand holding hands. For these are the hands of your best friend, strong and young and full of love for you. These are the hands on your wedding day as you promised each other to love today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work along with you as you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you, cherish you through the years with that slightest touch will come for you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you through grief and fear in your mind. For these are the hands of countless times that will wipe the tears from your eyes of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you hold your family together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands, even when wrinkled and aged, will still reach out yours, mm -hmm. giving you that unspoken tenderness and just that special touch. For today, you guys have come here in the presence of your family and your friends to share this day of celebration. For today, you start a whole new journey as husband and wife. Mm -hmm. I ask that you respect each other for who God has made you. Mm -hmm. He has already put your foundation. It's there for you. I always ask the family and friends that are here to support you also. You brought them here for a specific reason, to share this day mm -hmm. of your new beginning as husband and wife. And now by the authority vested in me through the state of Texas, I get to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> you want to take your face your family and friends? Ladies and gentlemen, I get to pronounce to you Josh, Alicia, Gr Granger. Granger, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What, what do I do? We're going to go straight ahead. Right. <laughs> <laughs>